Hey everybody, Guy from Ajax here. Welcome to the Daily 5 and 9, where I try to win 5 Splinterlands matches before I lose 5. And I record the matches in real time so you can hear my stream of consciousness thinking while I set my strategy. Web3 strategy games like Splinterlands are the best, and gamers need more of them to choose from. That's why I'm developing a Web3 basketball strategy game called Geeked Out Basketball. Links are in the description below. Now, let's get rolling on today's matches. Okay, we are less than 24 hours away from season close. And I am deeply into Diamond 2. So I do want to make a, a sprint towards champion within the next 24 hours. So I need to have a good 5 and 9 today. So let's uh, let's start this off strong. Okay, we have Aimless, Lost Legendaries, Reverse Speed, 52 Mana, everything except Death and Life. Okay, can't imagine I'm going to get a Fire deck. Water seems reasonable. Um, ba, ba, ba. or I could see if they have their earth leveled up. This is clearly a, a person or a bot who has focused on leveling up certain uh, units. So let's, I'm going to roll with the obvious reverse speed play, especially, um, and lost legendaries too. I think water and, and earth tend to have the best common cards in chaos legion in my opinion anyway. So we have the reverse speed in play. We're going with Obsidian. So I think it's Goblin Psychic, Goblin Tower, Mycelic Infantry. Is Uloth in play here? He's not a legendary. Okay, great. I want to get him in here stunning. And I think it's Magi of Chaos. But man, I still have a, I have a lot of... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, I guess I could put Archimus in here just to simply to add some more armor. Uh, I could go slip spawn. Da, da, da. I think we're going to go Archimus. I don't, again, I think people who watch me know I like to have every monster attacking from the beginning, but I think in this rule set, let's, um, let's uh, put a little more protection there. Okay. They are coming at me with magic though. So Archimus is, uh, um, Extra armor isn't going to do too much. Okay. Okay, great. We eliminated their slip spawn. Let's get that infantry healed up before he gets eliminated. Yep, great. Ah, we need to be hitting those. Uloth can't be missing his shots. When he's a two speed and reverse speed, he has the advantage. Ooh. There goes my Goblin Psychic and then my Masolic Infantry missed. Okay, we hit their Periton. Okay, great. That was huge. Goblin Tower in aimless and reverse speed is a great play, and we got this one. Great. Okay, good start. 1 0. Reverse speed again, silent summoners. Uh, what doesn't kill you? 32 mana, everything except earth. All right. Okay, I could see uh, entity in play here. I feel like it's either fire. Well, I guess it's silent summoners. We can kind of roll with anything, right? I don't have to worry about these summoners giving clumsy speed buffs and nerfs and reverse speed. So I'm going to go dragon. And I'm going to lean into, let's start with fire. Because I think I can go, I'm going to go Tusk or Grum. Let's start with Grum and see if we can do it. I like Spirit Hoarder and play with this rule set. I think we'll go Mortius. I actually think I'm going to go Forgotten One. Okay, and then what are some high-ish... If I'm going to have um, Spirit Hoarder back here healing, I want some high-ish mana monsters. And I think Whelp Herder might be the other play here. And then obviously the Scorch Fiend. Yeah, and then I think Whelp Herder <clears throat> will kind of have a, a double opportunity between Whelp Herder and Mortius. I'm going to protect the anchor a little bit with, with the fiend. 
and then hopefully my forgotten one can can stay present. I only used one dragon card. So my, my opponent's coming at me with two dragon cards and a heavy um a heavy um sneak sneak approach. Okay, great. We eliminated their well perder. My Mortius is mo is going to be gone after this. And potentially my spirit. No, no, I guess that missed hit by the infiltrator saved my spirit hoarder. Okay, now my hoarder's gone. Can my Magi of Chaos? No, my Magi of Chaos is gone as well. Okay, that miss was significant. That helps. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. They have two poison monsters out there. Okay. The piercing was huge. Great. 2-0. That was a good match. Well played there. Swolbro. Swolbro him. It's moving a little slow to uh, to match me. Hmm. Reverse speed again. Tisbet scratches, 12 mana, life and death. Could very well get a, um, <clears throat> seems like it's a pretty universally leveled up deck. So I guess the question is, what do I want to roll with here? It's Tisbet scratches and reverse speed. It's also 12 mana, which I think makes Mother Kala a pretty reasonable play. I mean, do I just go Rune Mancer? Do I just go with the the um, last stand? So I think we start with a uh, Soul Fiend. This might not be the, the smart play, but let's try it. I mean, Rune Mancer has one speed. It feels great for, for this approach, for this rule set. Okay. I mean, they're just essentially relying on Blight for um, offense. And I guess the question is, how quickly can we work through... Okay, we're going to get one hit out of the Soul Fiend, which is great. And we're last stand. As long as they don't poison my Atuat, I can't imagine I'm going to lose this one. I mean, but poison is definitely on the table. I still think I got it, though. Yep. Great. All right, 3-0. I think that's the first time I've ever won a low mana batch, a match leaning into Atuat and Last Stand. Just overall, the Last Stand ability, I haven't really, really mastered the right times and situations to use those. Maybe I just don't have the right monsters for it. You know, Tinderlock and Atuat are probably my two best monsters. Um, all right, Tisbet Scratches, Silent Summoners, getting a lot of the same rule sets today. Everything except Death is on the table. And it looks like we have a pretty universal gold level deck we could be going against, and obviously no pattern. <clears throat> so what do I want to lean into? I think it was Silent Summoners and a lowish mana count. I'm going to go Mother Kala just to... Just to save the um, mana. I think every little point of mana here is going to count. Let's go Conjure. Let's go Stitch Leech. Um, and then I want Uraeus as well. I want to double. And then I'm also going to go Harpy. And where's Uraeus? Uraeus. Okay, so we're going to be double hitting the tank. And I still have, or the sneak. And I still have nine mana to work with. So how do I want to do this? I have a heavy backline group working here. Um, I think I'm going to get a little triage into play with Jun Renova. Maybe put her right there. And then I think another two. I mean, is, do I just keep it simple and go with the Zenith Archer? And not overthink it. Yeah, that way. Yep, I think that's the way to go. You know, I, I went Zenith Archer instead of Dax. 
just uh, just in case there's a you know a tank in place that can nerf magic. At least I got a little diversity in in what's hitting it. Okay. So they have a we both have heavy backline attacks in play. Okay, they poisoned my zenith archer. Uh, we needed to poison there. I guess it didn't matter. Okay, great. We're gonna get a little life leech out of the stitch leech, and there goes my archer. Hopefully, my harpy doesn't get poisoned. Okay, we avoided that. Great, eliminated there, and now let's life leech some more. Okay, great. Okay, I think my harpy's pretty much gone. Yeah. Um, okay, let's eliminate their angelic mandarin. Okay, I guess the question is, can my stitch leech hold up here? It avoided the poison, which was great. Okay, that's all right. The mist doesn't concern me as much because we poisoned their bandit. Okay, they poisoned my stitch leech, but I think I got it. Great, got that hit. And yeah, we have enough offense in play. Despite the poison stitch leech, we should be able to eliminate that. Bakjira, yep, we got him. Okay, great, 4-0. Let's get a sweep today. Let's get a clean sweep. Look at this. We worked our way through Diamond 2. Yes, when you get on a winning streak, you can move up pretty fast. Okay, so we have back to basics, even Stevens, 24 mana, and then we have water and death. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I like both of these splinters. I tend to win a bit more with water, but perform well with death too. I mean, I have Demon Shark and Deep Lurker both on the table for water, but that's going to eat up a lot of my mana. And what does it look like if I go with a Curse Wind to Coup led Thaddeus lineup? Because then I think I can go, oh, it's, it's back to basics though. That's right. So there's no, there's no, excuse me, there's no, um, no thorns. So I think I'm, I mean, I think Demon Shark is the way to go here now. And then do I keep it simple with Jin O'Shaughness and a couple two mana monsters? I think so. I think that's what I do. I think I go Igor and the Archer to be dealing a little bit there. I think we're going to go... Jin O'Shaughness, and I guess the question is, you know, I mean, the Demon Shark has such good speed, I don't want the Fiend to take that first attack. So I'll just kind of delay O'Shaughness getting put into the tank. Okay, they're going to be nerfing my O'Shaughness magic a little bit. Okay. So they're going with they're fiend in the tank. Okay, eliminated it. Now we got to work through this thing, whatever that is. What is that? Lostradamus. Lobsterdamus. Okay, there goes my demon shark. Okay, great looking. Well, I don't want to say good yet. It's anyone's match. And they have ma more magic in the back line, though, which is, I think, looking really good for them. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, this isn't good. Yep, no, they, they played this one right. That was a good play. Um, I had too much archery in play. There goes my perfect day, four and one. Okay, so here's Lost Magic, Reverse Speed again, Holy Protection, 38 mana, Death, Life, Fire. Okay, it's lost magic and reverse speed. I'm either going to go <clears throat> Tarsa or Wraith, I think. Let's try Tarsa. Let's default speed only because it's so un like I intuitively know the high the high speed monsters. I don't quite as intuitively know the low speed monsters. Let's go Grum. Let's go Molten Ash Golem. 
I mean, do I try Fire Caller? It's five mana. Let's just. No, oh, no, I want to go Mordius actually with Tarsa. There might be room, but you know, I don't think so. Because I got something like Lava Launcher, and even. Even though they're higher speed, I actually, you know, Lava Spider, I was thinking both Tenny Striker and or Radiated Brute. I mean, yeah, what happens if I go with the Brute? And that leaves me with two. Let's protect the Lava Spider a little bit, see if we can get some poison being dealt. Okay. Yeah, they're going with the JSIC in reverse speed, which is interesting. And Sinash. Ah, oh, we needed to poison. Okay, that miss was significant. I don't want my Mortius getting... That's the thing. My Mortius is such, so strong offensively, but also can get taken out real quick. Okay, these misses are great. This reverse speed is super helpful. Okay, huge. Not landing any poison, but that's okay. Yeah, got it. All right, uh, a 5-1 day today. We had a strong start. Hopefully, um, we can kind of rip through... Diamond two, and hopefully when I do tomorrow's, maybe I'm a, I'm in diamond one, push under champion. Okay, everyone have a great day. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye.